next one uh, as by is honored to welcome uh, Ms. Norma Binti Osman, our Deputy Secretary General MOT. Ms. Norma will present to us about a topic which is business aviation as a key pillar of the aviation industry in Malaysia. And uh, it will be in a form of pre-recording as well. Please enjoy. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning, ASPA board members and all ASPA members from Malaysia and abroad, participants from the business aviation and general aviation industry, community and ecosystem at large, and to the various aviation college students and staff present under the ASPA Discovery Initiative. First and foremost, and on behalf of the Ministry of Transport, I would like to congratulate ASPA for organizing the ASPA Malaysia Virtual Safety Forum 2021 which I believe is the first such international scale for the business aviation industry in Malaysia following the success of ASBAS Virtual Safety Summit 2020. Secondly, I must also congratulate ASBA and all its partners and sponsors for coming together and combining resources for this gratis event, thereby enabling relevant industry players to participate and understand the critical aspects of aviation safety today. I would like to reiterate the Minister of Transport's opening remarks yesterday, that is, the Minister of Transport's participation in this forum is aimed at underscoring the government's commitment towards the growing business aviation and general aviation community in Malaysia, whilst ensuring that safety consideration remains at the forefront. The transport sector is the driver of our nation's growth and going forward, the availability of a high-quality transport system is a fundamental building block towards becoming a developed nation. It is the ministries of transport. It is the Ministry of Transport's main intention to provide safe, reliable, affordable, and sustainable transport services to the people. In line with this, in line with this commitment, the National Transport Policy (NTP) 2019-2030 has been developed to outline the policy trusts and strategies to enhance our economic competitiveness and to provide strong social impact, particularly with respect to inclusivity and accessibility while reducing the negative impact to the transport system, of the transport system on the environment. Under NTP Trust 3, namely enhanced safety, integration, connectivity and accessibility for seamless journey, Ministry of Transport aims to provide seamless journey for passengers and goods by enhancing safety level, improving connectivity between transport modes, service integration through digit di digitalization and accessibility to transport services, including affordability. In the aviation sector, without doubt, Safety is an extremely important area of focus, attention and development. The Ministry and, and the Civil Aviation Authority of Malaysia, CAA Malaysia, are committed in ensuring all flights in Malaysia, including business aviation, BA, and general aviation, GA flights, are operated in a safe manner and to ensure that flight passengers in Malaysia have the confidence and assurance that any flight they are, they are taking is a safe flight. Safety is not limited merely to flight training and regulations and laws. Safety is wide and all encompassing, understanding the machines and the aircraft, understanding our personal constraints, appreciating and understanding that everyone in the BA and GA ecosystem has a role to play in ensuring safe operations, including air traffic control, control, engineering, and ground handling. In Malaysia, the business aviation industry is also relatively young and is therefore providing room for growth and improvement. Currently, there are 12 MRO operators and 28 general aviation operators, including helicopter and flying club in Subang Airport. In 2019, 28,534 GA aircraft movements were recorded the numbers reduced drastically 
to 16,748 GA aircraft movements in 2020 due to COVID-19 pandemic. According to ASBA Malaysia, there are 61 business jets, 149 helicopters and 18 tubo prop aircrafts in Malaysia as at fourth quarter 2020. Business aviation is now becoming a new potential growth area to be explored as this sector is significantly expanding in the region. According to the report published by Globe Air in comparing to commercial flights, flying private is 30 times less COVID-19 risky with a minimal risk of infection and the ability to fly long distances, private aviation has proven to be a reliable choice among a wide variety of individuals from the typical working class to business people and government officials. According to Maida, in commercial aviation, it is a two-way race between Airbus and Boeing. Meanwhile, in business aviation, there are a lot of OEMs competing in the region, such as Gulfstream, Bombardier, Dassault, Embraer, Cessna, Palantir, and Honda Jet. OEMs assume a vital aspect of the ecosystem in business aviation, apart from the operations and maintenance of business jets in the region, the industry has a significant characteristic that separates it from the commercial aviation industry, which is customization and craftsmen. While commercial aircraft, while commercial aircraft are mass-produced on the production line, business jets tend to be more handcrafted, especially for the interior of the aircraft. These require high-value craftsmen with skill sets in fine detailing and build up engineering work and could potentially be a key area of focus for growth in the region. Major hubs for the sector include Beijing, Hong Kong and Shanghai, followed closely by Singapore in terms of business aviation aircraft movements. This city airport ecosystem, coupled with our strategic location and cost competitiveness in terms of labour and infrastructure, has contributed to Malaysia becoming a strong competitor in this area. Ladies and gentlemen, MOT sees the development of the business aviation industry in Malaysia to be contingent on the following aspects and entities coming together. Number one, the policy and regulatory environment where MOD, CAA Malaysia and MAFCOM play key roles. Number two, the infrastructure environment where Invest Selengo and Malaysia airports play key roles. Number three, the investment environment where Miti and agencies like Madrid and Naiko lead the way. And finally, the aviation ecosystem like the jet owners, operators, ground handlers, MROs, FBOs, financiers, and leasing companies, aviation legal practitioners, insurers, and many other aspect business and many other support businesses. We recognize that to make it work, these elements must be resolved in whole and not in parts. We therefore urge our Malaysian industry players, including regulators, to learn from the industry's best and employ the best practices so that we can grow business aviation to the highest standards here. Ladies and gentlemen, today, Lapangan Terbang Sultan Abdul Aziz Shah, LTSAAS Subang, hosts over 30 operator tenants across various aviation segments, many of which have made to long-term contractual agreement of up to over 40 years. Moving forward, under Subang Airport Regeneration Plan, uh, LTSAAS will be positioned as a business aviation and aerospace hub in this region and as a smart, efficient city airport. The development is expected to be completed by 2035 and will transform uh, LTSAAS as a modern and smart city airport. Regarding the allegations that unlicensed private jets are being used for commercial purposes at the Subang Airport, Mott wishes to reiterate that the Ministry viewed the issue of illegal charter jets for commercial purposes very seriously. According to Section 36.1 of the Malaysian Aviation Commission Act 2015, Act 771, it is required for any party providing commercial non-scheduled flight services, including operating private jets, for charter to obtain an air service permit from the Malaysian Aviation Commission, MAFCOM. 
In addition, Section 36.2 of Act 771 governs airlines which are permitted to operate non-scheduled services under the terms of any agreement or arrangement entered into by the government. In addition, only licensed airlines with valid or air operator certificate AOC issued by the respective countries are allowed to apply for the rights to provide private jets for chartered purposes to ferry passengers within Malaysia for hire or reward. This is necessary to ensure that flight services adhere to technical and safety requirements as established by the CAA Malaysia. In view of the increase in demand for private flight services and the need to encourage business growth in this commercial aviation subsector, the Ministry at this time will review all related policies, including holding dialogue sessions with the relevant stakeholders. More together with CAA Malaysia and MAFCOM is currently working together to come up with a regulation to govern the business aviation and general aviation industry in Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I would like to thank ASBA for organizing the ASBA Malaysia Visual Safety Forum 2021, the first such international scale for the business aviation industry in Malaysia, and also for all stakeholders, partners, and sponsors in ensuring the success of this event. To all the distinguished speakers, foreign guests, a big thank you for your great support for this event. We look forward to a continued to a continued strong relationship with the Business Aviation Association as we work together towards building a stronger BA and GA community for everyone's benefit. With that, I thank you. Thank you very much, um, Ms. Rosma, for your presentation. In ESBA, we would really appreciate uh, MOT support for all of our activities, our engagement. Thank you once again, and I hope everyone will get inspired by this session. Thank you.